This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What if I told you that there was a lighting setup that can make anybody look good? It's gonna require minimum retouching on your end and it fits on one single light stand. Is that even, is that even possible? It is. If I had to choose one lighting setup for the rest of the year, this would be the one. And my daughter's recording me, I think. You recording me? Yes. A few reasons why this is one of my go-to setups. It's consistent. It makes people's skin look good. All thanks to this second light here. Yes, you could have used a reflector, but there's a huge advantage to using a second light. I'll touch on that later on in the video. This C-stand actually has a leg down here that allows you to mount another light and that's game changing. And also, look, I can move this around the studio on location and use this on different backdrops and still get consistent, beautiful lighting. As for lighting, I'm using two Westcott FJ400 strobe lights with the universal wireless trigger on my camera that controls them wirelessly. I have a Westcott 36 inch Octabox boom directly above the model's head and go down and a one x four strip box on the bottom light. The positioning of the light and its distance from the background is always important. When you take your first test shot, you should be looking for a couple of things right away. Are you getting catch lights in the eye? Do you want the background to be darker or brighter? Let's just say I wanted a slightly darker background. By moving the model just a couple of feet away from the background, I'm able to get a slightly darker background but still able to maintain the same light, consistent lighting on my model. When dialing in my settings for this shot, my main focus was to kill the ambient light in the studio. And I did that by using ISO 100, 1 400th of a second shutter speed, which is my camera's flash sync speed. But with these lights, you can use any shutter speed you want all the way up to 1 8,000th of a second. But that would mean that my flash is in high speed sync mode, thus making my flash work harder than it needs to unnecessarily. So I stopped my aperture down up until I couldn't see her anymore on my rear screen. This lets me know that none of the other lights, even if it's natural light, isn't affecting the exposure of my photo. For posing, here's an example of the pose I asked her to do for the money shot. All right, for the pose, right hand, I want you to grab onto your necklace. Right there, just hold onto your necklace with that hand and then the left hand, uh, put it in, in your hair. And I want you to run your hand through your hair. And then make sure your elbow doesn't face me. Make sure it like, faces the ground or away from me. And then just change the levels of your chin. So pretend like your chin down eyes up, a little bit more intensity, and then go a little higher. Yeah, so you're just gonna keep changing levels as we're taking photos. So now going back to why I like using two lights versus using a reflector. Clearly a reflector is the cheaper option and it just works. You bounce light back into the shadows, creates a nice catch light in the eye. But using a reflector sometimes can be limiting. When you're using two lights, you're able to con precisely control the output of that second light, being able to really balance out the light that's hitting the skin, not just filling it, but even just balancing it, giving you even more of an even skin tone, giving you less retouching to do in post. And also look at the background. Since you have more light hitting the background, you're evening out the light on the back, which gives, gives you just one solid color throughout versus maybe getting a gradient of light with the bounce not being as powerful. And that also probably decrease some of your retouching depending on if your background has wrinkles or anything like that. This is absolutely one of my favorite lighting setups that I have here at my studio. It just makes people look good. So I hope this video helped you in trying to replicate this kind of look so that you, you can make people look good because that's a great feeling. Stay tuned for more of these. I'm going to do some dramatic breakdowns of some of my favorite setups that are going to set you apart from the competition. So stay tuned for those. So now for a quick message from my long time sponsor, and that is Squarespace. So whether you are looking for a website, blog, you want to sell some products online, you should try Squarespace. Even your non-technology savvy grandma could set up her own website. It's that easy to use. Want to change things up? You can preview and change the entire look of your website with the click of a button. Run into any kind of trouble. They offer 
24 seven customer support. I make a great side income selling my color grading presets, my portrait retouching tutorial using my Squarespace online store. Every photographer and videographer needs to have a website. Instagram, Facebook, it isn't yours. Your website is, and that is the most professional way of presenting yourself to a client. Who doesn't love a discount? And if you want 10% off, use the code Manny, and I'll leave a link at the top of the description. So check that out.